Hi guys, so today I want to talk about the TV show Arrow. So I saw the trailer for the Flash TV show that's coming to the CW in the fall and it's a spin-off of Arrow which is an adaption of the comic book Green Arrow. And I didn't watch Arrow before, it's had two whole seasons now, but the Flash looked intriguing so I was like might as well watch the original thing before I watch the spinoff. Katie and I watched the first couple episodes when she was here for Disneyland and we've been live chatting the rest of the episodes as we've watched them, which is almost as good as watching it with someone in the same room. The premise of Arrow is that this rich dude, Oliver Queen, gets shipwrecked on an island for five years and somehow survives and also learns archery and other combat skills. Then he comes back to save his Gotham-like hometown by taking out a list of people given to him by his dying father. We get flashbacks of this island superhero training program every episode. I have to say this origin story beats the original comic book one which was his parents get eaten by lions in a tragic safari accident. The first thing I want to comment on is the characters' names. I get that they're from comic books, but come on. No one laughs at John Diggle. They just call him Dig and move on. They did make a comment about Tommy's last name, Merlin at least. Oliver and Tommy's girlfriend, don't ask, is named Laurel. But like half the characters, including her own father, kind of say it like lol? Lol? I'm not sure how I feel about that. And they call Oliver Queen Ollie. I would have shut that nickname down a long time ago. And speaking of nicknames, maybe this is addressed in season two, but Ollie's Green Arrow persona is known as the Vigilante, or more commonly, the Hood. I mean, couldn't Ollie have done some Zorro-esque signature thing to establish a better name? Even Ollie's nemesis gets a better name. People call him the Dark Archer. What I did like about the show is that the police, even though they are woefully incompetent compared to the superior Ollie, actually do come close a number of times to catching the hood. And this is one of the things that I feel like that they should address more often in superhero stories, how to keep your secret identity secret. I also really liked John Diggle Dig. He's a great character, and also the Felicity character, who is a tragically awkward and always says kind of like an innuendo thing, but it's cute, and she's a computer genius, and basically she saves the day every episode. When Katie and I watch things together, we end up cracking jokes the whole time, and this was no exception, even though it's in the gritty superhero vein, and even though it's not supposed to be a comedy, we found the jokes. Or at least we made fun of the characters not commenting on any of the ridiculous things that happen. I prefer watching shows that have a little more self-awareness, like Sleepy Hollow or Witches of East End, but I did enjoy watching season one and I will watch season two as soon as I can find a way to watch it without paying Amazon $30. Kayla, I hope you're having fun in Europe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!